All right, I'm going to show you how to do these squares, and there's no difference between this one to this one or this one. It all uh, comes out four squares, I mean four triangles in each one. So you can use this for a cross body bag, uh, purse, um, so many things that you can think of using this. I do like this texture and I think it's going to be very good for somebody that needs a stimulation or something with their hands that they can, you know, make, you know, they can feel it a texture wise. All right, so I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver and what they call pumpkin and banana yellow. And I'm going to grab all the materials and I will get you started on this and show you how to do it. Okay, for the first part we're going to be using a 4 millimeter only because I want it a little stiff. And what we're going to do is going to be an odd number, but this one's going to be odd number 13, but we're going to add one extra. We're going to chain 14. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen is our turning chain. We're going to turn this way. We're going to turn towards the back and see these uh, back loops. They're called back bumps. Okay, we're going to go into that very first one that we see, not the one underneath there. We're going to go in the first one we see, and we're going to make a single crochet. Single crochet is go in the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop, pull through two. We're going to continue that all the way down, and we will have 13 single crochets. This is number 13. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn. We're going to go in the back loop. You got a front loop and a back loop. And we're going to go right there in that back loop. And we're going to make a single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way down the row. And we will have 13 single crochets. Your first row is a little fiddly, but you'll eventually get it. I want to catch on everything tonight. Okay. Okay, we're down here to our 13th. Okay, from now on, when we go up to your tail, you're going to skip the two last stitches. When we're going down, what, how many you went up is how many we're going to go down. So we're heading up to the tail now, and I'm going to skip the last two stitches, so it will be 11 single crochets. So there's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and 11. Now we're going to go right back down. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the back loop for 11 stitches down. So go ahead and do that. So here's our 11th one. So we're going to do it again. We're going up to it so we're going to skip the last two. So now it will only be nine. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. We're going to chain one, turn our work. Now we're going to do nine single crochets back. The next one will be seven, seven down, five, five down, and we're going to come back when we're on three. So continue working down till you got three stitches, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm down here to what I said to get back to three. So we're only going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, turn your work, and we're going to one, two, and on the third one, we are going to hold up. Now, if you are um, going to continue a solid color, this you can go ahead and finish this stitch. If you're not, you can go ahead and put your new uh, yarn in right there. You're going to chain one, and we're going to go right back down in that same stitch that we made. So you're going to make sure you pick up two loops off this stitch. It would be that single crochet we made right there, but we're going to go into the side of it. We're going to draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Now, uh, this one consists of 13 stitches. So there's one. I'm going to go right here in the top of this one. Can you see? It'll be a hole there. It's in the top of this double crochet there. So there's one, two, three, Four. We're going right in these stitches. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten, eleven. There's 12, and then the last one we're going to put right here in these stitches in that beginning of the um, chains that we did at the very beginning. That would be number 13. So we're going to turn around and do the same thing we did over here. We're going to chain one turn, and we're going to do 13 single crochets in the back loop. Now the place where you're going to decrease is when you're going up here. And the reason why I do um, where it looks like three rows 
is because I want the same width as three, these three stitches for over here. So that's 12, and this one is number 13. I'm going to do a chain one, turn my work, Go right back down and I'm going to do 13 again. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eleven, twelve, and there's thirteen. All right. So remember, we did thirteen here. Now, so when we get up here, now we're going to decrease going down. So we're only going to do eleven this time. Eleven single crochets back down. Nine, nine down. Seven. 7 down. So let's chain 1, turn our work. So it'll be 11 this time. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight and there's nine, there's ten, and there's eleven. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're going to do eleven single crochets back down. So the next one would be nine. We're going to do eleven down, we're going to do nine up, nine down, seven up. 7 down, 5 up, 5 down, and I will be back at 3. I'm down here. I did my 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to chain 1. I'm going to turn, and I'm going to do 1, 2, and I'm going to change the color to show you how to change the color. That would be my 3, completing the row. So that's what it should look like so far. And I'm going to bring, I'm not going to cut this because I got to take it out. But so I'm going to bring the orange in. I'm going to pull it through those two loops. And I'm going to chain one. I'm going to grab a hold of these and give it a little tug. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going right into, into the side of that single crochet that we just made. We're going to draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop, and go through two. We're going to make a single crochet in the side of that. So now we need uh, 13, so that's one. And I'm going to hide my tails. Two. Go into the stitch here. Three, go up on that one. That's four. Go into the stitch, five. Top of the stitch, six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and your last stitch is going to go into the side of this stitch, but it's you'll see it right there. Well, I guess at the bottom of the stitch, right there. That's your thirteen. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work, and we're going to go 13 back up again. So 
So there's one, two, still working in the back loops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're going to chain one, we're going to turn, and we're going to do thirteen back down. I'm going to show you the reason why I do the three on the turn of the single crochet row is because I need, you need four, I mean three stitches to run across here. Um, you're going to end up putting a single crochet in that bump, that one, the chain one, and a single crochet there. So you need these three, one, two, three. So in the center here, we're going to be putting two double crochets. So make sure this is the same width as this one when we come back down. It all makes sense when we get there, okay? So continue down with your 13 single crochets. The next one will be 11. Go down 11. Go up 9. Go down 9. Go up 7. Go down 7 until you get down to 3. And I'll be right back.